What's good YouTube? Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys the best Asus BIOS settings for performance and gaming. So once you're in the BIOS, you're gonna to wanna to go over here to exit and press the load optimize defaults. This is gonna reset everything. Once you did that, go over to extreme tweaker and let's get started. Uh, under overclock presets, if you press it, it'll show you the default um, preset settings. You can try using these if they don't give you performance then do what i'm about to show you go over to ai overclock tuner and um put this to the highest mine is xmp2 uh you gotta have sufficient cooling which i do uh if you don't have xmp2 then just use xmp1 of course but bclk frequency you can keep it 100 asus multi-core enhancement you want to put to remove all limits um you can keep these two the way they are cpu core ratio you're gonna to want, to, want to put it sync all cores and put it to 51 uh mine's stable at 51 but if you crash um or it's not stable just switch it to 50 50 is always stable and it'll give you uh sufficient performance across all cores opposed to like just putting it per core or auto so next keep this at auto keep this enabled drm frequency you're going to want to keep it 3600 um you can try putting it up a notch or two but you got to make sure you have enough um dram of course uh, extreme you can keep these two the way they are external digi power control you want to go in here switch it to uh you can see it's on auto it's already at level seven but you can just put it at level seven again um keep this disabled um cpu current capability you want to put to the max um let's see you can put this C CPU VRAM to manual and switch it to 500. Um, CPU power duty control, you can put to extreme. As well as this, you can put to extreme. Um, DRAM current capability, you want to put to the max. DRAM, you can leave that on auto. That's going to be it for this tab. Internal CPU management, let's make sure this is on enabled that's pretty much it for that these two you don't gotta mess with for performance then we're at the cpu core cache current limit max you can put this to 150 um you can keep this on auto or you can disable this actually uh as you can see it says cpu will turn down yeah you just want to disable this um you can keep these two on auto let's go down uh you can keep this enabled you can put this to manual mode and put it to 1.3 um you can put drm voltage to one keep it at 1.35 or put it to 1.35 it's not there and put this next one to 1.15 1. 1. and this one as well um you can also keep this out auto but this doesn't really make much of a difference so keep that up auto then for the that's pretty much it for this tab yeah that's it uh, advanced go over to advanced cpu configuration scroll down make sure um hyper threading is enabled cpu power management uh same thing just make sure turbo mode is enabled uh that's pretty much it for it, that um uh yeah that's pretty much it for that 
go over to monitor and scroll scroll all the way down then um press q fan tuning uh, i'm not gonna do it because it takes a minute and but just go ahead and click it and then yeah just press continue okay once that's once that's done um these are going to be disabled but if you have water cooling then make sure you put this to auto and put these two to auto because they're disabled by default for some reason um you can go through uh these but i'm not going to because um auto is fine but if you want like um 100 percent fan usage i mean your fans running at 100 you can change it um that does um put wear on your fan of course if it's running at 100 but if you want if you have trouble with cooling and stuff you can always just yeah, change it in here um next is boot um you can go to boot configuration make sure fast boot is enabled and this post delay time is the time it takes where you know the logo shows up so you can get into bios you can change this if you want to uh, boot in windows faster or slower um then one more thing go into tool go to asus user profile then make a name for it then press look at these and see which one is not assigned then just type it into save the profile and save it to whichever one's not assigned um so if you want to make another profile later on that's not overclocking you can just load your um profile that's saved uh let's so make sure you do that and if you don't want to do all that and um and then you can just go into easy mode let's make sure xmp is enabled and then turn on ai overclocking then the last thing is just make sure resize bar is on this will give you the maximum amount of performance for your memory and that's pretty much it for the uh, performance settings that will give you performance in BIOS let me go through everything yeah that's pretty much it if this was helpful make sure you guys um like and like and subscribe yeah, that's it. All right, peace out.